Hello everyone and welcome to week 5 of English 120. This week we're going to begin working on our project topic forms. Um, you've already been introduced to this topic but I'd like you to spend the majority of your time this week um, working on developing your project topic form. This will take some time so it is the only thing we're going to be working on this week. So please begin by as always watching this lecture then um, I'd like you to watch a very short video, it's like a minute and a half, that just kind of talks about um, research and um, why you should go to the library to do research, which is part of what we're learning in this class. Then I'd like you to review the NVC Research Primer. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like during this lecture, but I'd like you to pay, pay special attention to the section on reference sources, because that's what we're mainly going to be using for the research you're doing this week. I'd like you to complete your journal, um, which will get you ready to complete your research topic form, and then you'll be turning in your research topic form by the end of the week. Uh, it's worth 25 points, and remember, these points are in the uh, paper and, and uh, the paper side of your grade, so um, it's worth uh, that your whole research project is a part of. So speaking of research project, here is your research project timeline. This week, you'll be turning in your research topic form. Uh, and for this form, you're going to have to find a number of sources. Um, it's a good idea to keep, keep track of the sources as you're going along, because the next stage of this process will be to write an annotated bibliography. And that's where you're going to write a, an assessment of each of those sources. We'll get to that next week. I'll start talking about it. But for now, keep all the sources you find that you feel like are relevant to the topic that you're working on. So we've already done the work in the last week of choosing three different possible topics to write about and uh, doing a, a free write about these topics to try to figure out which one could we write an eight to ten page argumentative research paper on. Um, now I'd like you to, to go and choose one of those that you feel like is going to be the best fit and I'd like you to take that topic with you to the library. And you should plan on spending several hours this week at the library. The majority of your work is going to be done this week finding the right sources. Um, I'd like you to search in reference sources. And to talk you through that, um, I'm going to try to escape and go to um, This is the section on um, the uh, Napa Valley writer, the Napa Valley uh, Library on using reference sources. Um, they basically are sources that give us a general background on our topic. So you're going to go in there with a general topic, say the new woman or um, socialism or um, the 1906 earthquake, right? These are just general topics. And you're going to go in there looking for um, basic information about these events. Um, and then once you get a basic information from something like a general encyclopedia, then you're going to move on to a subject encyclopedia. And these you can find in the library at the reference, behind the reference desk. Um, and a librarian can show you where to go. But it's really important that you do this work. So once you've looked in a regular um, encyclopedia and found really like the subtopics within a topic, then you're going to move on to a subject encyclopedia. And there's some listed here. There's also sub subtopics within a topic. Say you're doing something on the Civil War, they have an example here of all different kinds of topics within that, right? Um, you can get really, really, um, really more investigative here if you'd like to. Um, there's a lot of information on this sources handout and I have it here so you can look at it. Um, this tells you the reference types and the type of information that's given there. Um, but like I said, the place you want to start is with the encyclopedias. And just to be clear, if you go to the library website and you go to McCarthy website and you go to databases, you'll see listed under here
Funk and Wagnall's New World Encyclopedia and World Book Encyclopedia. And if we click on one of these, hopefully it'll take us. If you click on these, it'll log you in and um, you will be able to search within the World Book Encyclopedia. Of course, there's always a few issues. Um, you need to log in and for some reason, of course, because it knows I'm teaching a class, it's not letting me do this right now. But normally, you'll log in and you'll get into the database and you can search. Best way to do it is on campus because then you will not encounter these errors. All right, once you've done that, I want you to um, figure out while you're looking through your references, your World Book Encyclopedias, your subtopic um, reference sources, uh, look for different um, important words. We call these keywords. These are words you're going to do more comprehensive searches under. So for example, if you're doing the 1906 earthquake, maybe you start to see that fire safety was a big issue in the earthquake. And so you might want to, you want, you might want to write that down as one of your possible keywords. Now, what you want to generate is at least 10 keywords. And this URL here can take us to, um, a generator, um, it's called the generate, it's the keyword generator. And once you have a topic like the 1906 earthquake, you can type it in here. And then it'll, it'll talk you through the process of finding different concepts. So maybe, um, fire safety is something I'm, I'm interested in. Maybe death toll is something I'm interested in. Um, uh, maybe I'm interested in, um, we'll just start with those two and click on the next. And then this will say, um, this will help me get through thinking of different fire, different keywords associated with fire safety. Okay. If you go through this process, um, it will help, um, it'll help you generate a number of keywords to use in your searches. So once you've identified your, your keywords, then um, you want to identify sources in the, in the library databases and the library catalog catalog. That means find books, find articles um, that are going to address the topic that you're interested in. Now, you may have to go back and forth a few times to find the right kinds of sources. Um, once you find some sources, decide which sources seem to be engaged in the same conversation. Um, what are the three most important issues that you've identified so far? So as you're going, look for what are these, what are these sources talking about? Of these issues, which one will best help me sustain my interest in the topic? So which ones are interesting to you? And which ones will help you actually be able to write an eight to 10 page paper? And then which one do you think fits the requirements of your assignment? And which one has the fewest limitations? Once you find, um, once you find six preliminary sources, this will include your World Book Encyclopedia sources or any kind of encyclopedia sources. I want you to write a research topic form. What this looks like is you're going to write a document in MLA format and you're going to upload it as part of the assignment. You will title your topic, your research topic, the title of your research topic, not research topic. Um, you're going to begin by writing at least two paragraphs and remembering a, an academic paragraph is seven to 12 pages long, have seven to 12 sentences long on, on the actual topic. I want you to answer the following questions. What is your topic? How is it debatable? Who are the main people talking about your topic and why are you interested in the topic? You want to give a clear history of the topic clearly define what it is, and it should take you over a paragraph to define your topic. 
you want to identify at least six sources that you found to do this preliminary um, research. None of those sources can be Wikipedia pages or history.com pages. All of those sources need to be from the library. That's why you have so much time this week to work on it. I'd also like you to list at least 10 key terms that you, that you use to search under. Please make sure you write this document in Times New Roman 12 point font and that you use MLA, site, MLA for formatting to cite your sources. This is due this Sunday at 11.59 p.m. That's it for this week, guys. I look forward to seeing your research topics. Don't forget, you can always stop by my office if you have any questions. I'm available on Tuesday this week from 11 to 12.30 and from 1.30 to 3. There is no school on campus on Thursday, so I will not be on campus on Thursday. But you can always email me if you have any questions. All right, I'll see you guys online.